Hello and welcome to another episode of the Rabbit Hole. I'm your humble host and bus driver on today's musical journey. Glad to have you with us. Happy Wednesday, people. Hope you enjoyed Monday's episode. We got Fridays with Death Cab for Cutie, and then Mondays obviously was Kid Cuddy. Um, so we're going all over the place this week, and that's the fun part of doing this show. This is episode 39. We got 11 more before we hit the end of season one. And I uh, hope you also enjoy the How I Write episodes. we got a couple of videos in that series so far, the interview series. Check those out if you don't mind. On today's show, from Long Island, New York, little peep. And uh, if this is your first time watching this show, I start with these somewhat familiar artists like little peep and uh, little peep and uh, head down the music rabbit hole with them utilizing spotify's fans also like feature my goal every show is to find you your next new favorite artist or band i want to expose kind of some of those um you know uh, small you know quote unquote smaller independent artists and things like that so you use the bigger artists to hopefully reveal some smaller artists along the way some new music for you for me for everybody so a little peep uh, 11 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Uh, the music of Lil Peep meant a lot to a lot of people. Uh, his lyrics were dark and polarizing. He pioneered this combo of rap and rock and uh, became a face of the emo scene. And obviously rap rock has been around for a while, but this, but not really in that kind of like that emo scene as well. So it kind of, he, he's kind of the face of that wave that happened in the late you know 2010s and, and beyond. Um, and as with unfortunately quite a few artists on the show, like Pop Smoke, like Juice World, um, he passed away at age 21 in, in 2017. Uh, but the music uh, lives on. Three studio albums, five mixtapes, and 12 EPs. And the song I'll be playing here is an acoustic version of the song A Walk Away as the Door Slams, which appears on his 2019 um, posthumous album Everybody's Everything. This is actually my brother's favorite song. Here we go. Club lights, we fly every night. Baby, I don't want to do that. York side, jeans tied, dirty sprite. She like, how the fuck you do that? I can't be there all the time. But you know I gotta prove that. I can't leave here anytime soon. Little Tracy is on that track as well. Little Peep, Little Tracy, rest in peace, Little Peep. So let's head down the rabbit hole, hopefully uncovering some um, some smaller and, and fantastic artists along the way. Next up from San Diego, California, Brennan Savage, 1.4 million monthly listeners. This song I'll be playing here is off his 2019 album, Tragedy, called Dreams of You. Brennan Savage, Dream, uh, let's see, Dreams of You. And I know usually on the show, I like list everybody's like albums and things like that. With a lot of these artists, um, they do a lot of uh, 
various types of releases, singles, EPs, LPs, albums, you know, all, all over the place. So um, I'm just kind of just going right ahead and just saying kind of where the song came from. And definitely it, my advice is to check out more of their music on your own. Next up from Winnipeg, Canada, Smart Death, uh, 296,000 monthly listeners. This is a single they put out on July 7th of this year called Just Be Around, Smart Death. because I haven't done um, an episode in this scene for a while. You guys know who have been following me for a long time. I There was some earlier um, in this season I was able to kind of do some in this kind of emo scene. And uh, so it's cool. It's cool to be back. And I, I, this is one of those music styles that always intrigues me. It's always something where, um, for me personally, I have to be kind of in a certain mood to really listen to this stuff. I don't know. It doesn't have to be mean like I have to be in a sad mood. But I just mean like... Um, you know, this isn't like my typical go-to genre, but I always appreciate and enjoy it. And every time I do listen to these artists and songs, I'm always like, man, this is good. This is good music. Um, so that was another great track there. That was by Smart Death. Uh, next up, Lil Aaron from Goshen, Indiana. Uh, uh, 547,000 monthly listeners. This is a song off his 29 EP, uh, 2019 EP called Dark Matter. The song has uh, almost 2 million plays, and it's called Last Time I Checked. Jackie boy. Take, take it easy, Last time I checked, I'm still fucking right. Hard as I try, can't get out of bed. Last time I checked, I'm still fucking depressed. Haven't stopped crying since the day you left. What the fuck I'm supposed to do with all these love songs? I wrote for you, I wrote for you How did everything feel right when it's so wrong? Tell me what's the use, tell me what And I'm sorry, I mean it I don't wanna start shit when you said you I kind of like those lyrics, like, what am I supposed to do with these love songs? Now that you left, what am I supposed to do with them? <laughs> so, little Aaron. Uh, all right, next up, number five on our list from L.A., Drippin' So Pretty. 125,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. This is a song off his 2020 album that came out on July 10th, not too long ago, uh, called Green Dot is the song. Um, and 104,000 plays. So, Green Dot by Drippin' So Pretty. It's so hard to be me. Green out on your head, knock off your beanie. Remember all them pills they had me feeling. Let me at the show, no shorty geeking. Oh, what you wanna know? You know I'm on go. And I need 20 racks for a motherfucking show. And shorty on my dick, you should treat me like a ghost. They hate to see you up, so you know I keep a pole. Oh, it's so hard to see me. Push this start off hopping and I'm speeding. Got your bitch in love like it was easy. I'm a heart, you know I'm bleeding Oh, what you wanna know? You know I'm on go 50 in my Glock, so I'm never on my own And they don't know my name, but I feel like I'm alone And please don't touch your luck, cause you know I keep my chrome oh, Okay, now don't racks out Baby, come here, let me blow your back out 
Green Dot by Drippin' So Pretty. Halfway through today's show, this is when I stop and remind you, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're enjoying what you're listening to, what you're watching, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Um, if there's a band or artist that you've not yet heard on the show, would like to, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section. You can also DM me, the underscore music rabbit hole, or shoot me an email, the music rabbit hole at gmail.com. And then also subscribe. I mean, I, I appreciate it because I'm trying to build up that subscriber base. And uh, so if you are enjoying the show, go and hit the subscribe button. You get these videos automatically in your YouTube um, subscriptions feed. You can also hit the bell, get a notification when they come up. But for the most part, they come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern time. All right. Second half of the show, number six from Dallas, Texas, Lil Lotus, 221,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. This is off of his 2020 EP called All My Little Scars, Volume 1. Um, the song is called I Don't Even Like You, 442,000 plays. Here we go. you i just like the idea i like that little lotus four more to go on this wednesday number six bobby from graham texas one hundred three thousand monthly listeners this is off his 2020 ep called insomnia the song is called would it matter by bobby guy getting a lot of stuff off his chest um and uh i, I mean with these types of songs i really like listening to the lyrics because i like to kind of hear where these guys are coming from and uh you know bobby bringing the heat on that one too three more to go number eight on our list from foxborough massachusetts nothing nowhere is the name of the artist 1.3 million monthly listeners this is a single that he put out in 2016 called i'm sorry i'm trying Again, you can hear kind of that connection between more of that acoustic rock type aspect and then the emo rap scene that we talked about at the beginning with Lil Peep. You can hear with some of these artists in their beats where it does have that guitar element to it. And that's what I like a lot. I'm sorry that I can't get out of bed. Sorry that my head's always a mess. I'm sorry that I missed your call for the third time in a row. I promise that I care much more than I show. See, and then they, they introduce the, kind of the electronic aspects and the beat making and things like that. But, man, anytime you can have that sort of intersection, it always sounds so cool with the, the intersection between hip-hop, between rock, between 
email wrap and all that stuff. Two more on this episode from Sweden. A little happy, a little sad. 533,000 monthly listeners. This is off his 2020 album. I think that's like Biv Frost is the name of the album there. Um, the song is called Real Fast. A little happy, a little sad. So we've gone through nine artists. We got one more to go on this show. We started things off with Lil Peep, hit up Brandon Savage, Smart Death, Lil Aaron, Drippin' So Pretty, Lil Lotus, Bobby, Nothing Nowhere, a Lil Happy, Lil Sad, a lot of Lils today. But we'll be finishing things off with Garden from Hornell, New York, 1.2 million monthly listeners on Spotify. This song is a single from July 3rd of this year called Someday 2. This will be the song that will take us out on this Wednesday. Come back on Friday, Death Cab for Cutie. Check out Monday's episode, Kid Cuddy. Episode 39 in the books. We'll see you next time on the Music Rabbit Hole. See you guys. Tossing and turning, rain turns to sunshine. This is a cycle I'm learning. Fear, the keeper instilled in my mind. I've been escaping a race in the parts of my brain that don't ever comply. Oh, dear, I hope that you know that I've tried. But terror is making a mess, but I do just confess I know all of it.